Now, will you listen? Oh, this is tremendous. Who also hath made us also able ministers of the New Testament. And I'd like to change that. We are ministers of the New Covenant. And we have here now a contrast between the Old Covenant, the Old Testament, and the New Covenant, and the New Testament. And there is a contrast here in several different ways. Who also hath made us ministers of the New Covenant? Now, he says, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. Now, the letter, we're talking, I hope you understand, about the Old Testament. And we're talking specifically about the law. Not of the letter, but of the Spirit. Now, what happens? Well, the letter kills. You see, actually, the letter condemns us, friends. That is the thing that the law does. The law condemns us. And the law says that you and I are guilty sinners. And these letters that were written on the stone, they condemn man. And that's the contrast that he's making here, because the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. Now, the Mosaic law never gave life. I've often challenged congregations to have them name somebody who was ever even saved by the law. Did you know that Moses, the lawgiver, could not even be saved by the law? You know why? He was a murderer. <laughs> David broke it all, but he's a man after God's own heart. You can't be saved with keeping the law, friends. The law kills you. It condemns you. And Paul's going to talk about it here. He says, but if the ministration of death, that's the old covenant, that's the law, written and engraven in stones. Now we know what he's talking about. But it was glorious. It's the will of God, but it condemns me. It shows me I'm a sinner. So that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away. That glory that was on Moses' face began to disappear. How shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious. In other words, if the Old Testament was glorious, what about the New? For if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more the ministration of righteousness, and that's the righteousness we have in Christ, exceed in glory. For even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excelleth. 